Hello, this is XL, or known as Bonsai, and I'm using this Zigok. Cause why the heck not? And this is one sweaty, wet bot. And man oh man, this thing is really fun to use. Really fun. I love it. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, way back, I was able to use it, and I was able to do like efficient games. But, you know, ever since these water maps, it made it even more efficient. At this specific time, I was trying to boost out of that whole engagement, and I boosted right into that uh, metal pillar, and I was like, oh, crap. So this game, you know, this is basically like a, you know, good normal match with this thing. Um, you're going to need to be uh, prepared to, you know get a attacked a lot because since you're a raid you know you, you you stand as a big target for the generals and the Zagok is really nice it's got some really nice potential and you know like I don't know I, I kind of find it frustrating every single time I'm just going in for the the melee and the person is able to catch my second melee I don't know, it's kind of frustrating in a lot of moments. Right here, I was pretty stupid. I thought I can, you know, ram him, but I didn't reach, and, you know. Oh, that was a big epic fail on my part. I was like, ah, oh, crap. Throughout that whole engagement, I was not doing so, you know, spectacular. I was doing pretty damn mediocre. Now, the Zagok it is really good in the water. Really good really really good but when it's on the land when you're on land it's pretty damn difficult but you can manage and it's it's pretty good it does pretty damn beastly specific things it's got uh, three attacks so you know you can literally come in with some epic char style if you wanted to um, it's got some pretty damn epic maneuver armor which majority of the time it can literally save your butt even with the most dangerous right here I was pretty stupid I did not know how to use this mola suit I believe this was my uh, second match with this and I was like wow uh, god damn it <laughs> I thought like I can literally slam both of those guys to the ground but I was pretty damn reckless with this thing to use this mobile suit you have to be really reckless you have to you have to jump in if, if a lot of team members say oh you know um, don't don't get reckless you have to get reckless with this thing no matter what because if you don't get reckless you're gonna be 12th place in this mobile suit a lot of the time now this this mobile suit is pretty good it kicks some ass it does some pretty damn amazing type of moves it it's pretty damn solid right here I was pretty damn messed up and I believe there was number six this guy the midget the midget guy was trying to <laughs> get on this guy's nerve and this is what really pisses me off people are able to catch me on my my like on my attack and I attack them first it doesn't make any sense I did not see any goddamn resist um now I'm trying to boost I don't know what is up with this update but the update kind of boosted up um, people's melee range where people are able to get me a mile away right here I kind of messed up I could have won that whole engagement if you know I landed my attacks I was able to catch this man by surprise I did that by accident I was like ha, I boosted out a random and I caught you son now man oh man I gotta say these amphibious maps these water maps are absolutely amazing amazing maps I love them they're my favorite maps in any games in any games of all time ever since they added these maps I just gotta give kudos I gotta give a round of applause for you know um for their for their effort you know it doesn't take it, it's not easy. It's not easy to do something like this. Now, 
the thing is like I wanted to go to the forums and say say thanks and this and that but you know I could not go to the forums I could not um, receive a message back saying how amazing these maps are and you know oh well that's the thing you could do forums in a lot of other games but this game the forums are pretty damn strict and majority of the forums would be in a Japanese format so you know it's pretty damn hard to understand but you can make it work if you could translate that thing but anyways the Zagok is pretty damn pretty damn agile it's, it's good it's not really really fast but you know the melee priority is pretty damn nice right here I was able to boost towards that uh, nuke that the high gog had but I totally did not see the effort that came out of the water out of nowhere and the efforts are pretty damn dangerous if you don't keep your eye on that guy was able to do a really good job with his effort a lot of my team members were able to stop him from doing a lot of you know dangerous things now do I think this mobile suits really legit yeah it's it's legit it's able to do some really good stuff you can stagger opponents with your second beam shot and you can literally go in for your uh what's the word your your goddamn freaking rockets you can use booster rockets when you're going towards your opponents which is really really good it gives an edge right here I wanted to get out of there because I saw him have the big old nuke so I wanted to stay away from those many goddamn nukes and you know those things are pretty damn dangerous I was able to stagger this man and catch him now this dude right over here was struggling so I wanted to finish this high gog which I did a really good job but we are basically behind and you know I just don't understand how the heck did that even happen like how did we get behind but you know it happens it's a really solid mobile suit really solid and you know this mobile suit got really slippery and I slipped off the edge I'm pretty clumsy when I'm trying to use you know some mobile suits off those rails but it didn't work in my favor um, the problem with this mole suit is that you have to literally figure out where the beams shoot. So I'm basically a righty player, so I'm always shooting on the right. Uh, lefty, I'm pretty damn. Oh, I'm. I use lefty as a really good, uh, a little good trick. If you're trying to get some dude off the corner, lefty would be really good. So you can shoot left beam, right beam, left beam and then wait a little bit and you can shoot the right beam and that's the cool thing about the the Z -Gog. you know you can you can change the angle of your your beams which is pretty damn hard but you can get used to it this match was really good I was able to do a pretty damn decent decent damage and you know the Zigok is nice, you know. You just gotta come in with the the Zigog. You know what I mean? Now, I saw there is this uh, act guy hiding in here. You know, I literally spotted his, you know, glowing eyes, and I was like, "All right, you you think you can just trick me? I'm gonna stand here and just finish you off slowly. If that's the case, if you want to chill out in there, I'm just gonna stand here." <laughs> And he just realized, you know, this is not a good tactic. <laughs> he, yeah. And I was going to go after this act guy because it's like a perfect, perfect time to go after him. Because, you know, not many of my uh, team members know that he is even around. So this is a perfect time to take advantage since he he's basically a stealth boy. So you got to take advantage of those stealth boys pretty damn dangerous mobile suits but I was able to catch him by surprise and you know did some really good work right there 
Now, like when you're in the water, you get like really good speeds. When you're in other type of mobile suits, like not um, amphibious, you know, not any of those water boys. Yeah, they have a really hard time. They struggle underwater. But, you know, the Z got, got some nice skill. Really good amphibious mobile suits. And I swear to God, they did one heck of a job to balance a lot of these, you know, moments underwater, which is really amazing. It's really cool. You can just do all sorts of, like, new moves in these water locations. I'm so glad they added this. It gives it a little bit of life. And, yeah, I'll accept it. I was able to get behind this, you know, effort right here. Which was basically focus and the act guy right there I totally did not see him I was dodging out of that um, right over here there were just two guys three three enemies around this sector uh, targeting me so you know I was trying to figure a a good strategy number two was over there trying to get rid of this one dude I was able to get this guy And I believe one of my guys right behind me, he got knocked out. And there was a Desert GM, and I did not even realize there was a support around that area. I should have went after that dude. It would have been a really good target. Now, at this specific moment, you know, I just wanted to get into the water you know I just want to be the wet boy you know I want to be the amphibious Aquaman with this thing I was able to finish this guy off thanks to my team members I'm just launching uh, these epic beams right there I was trying to angle my left and my right pretty damn difficult but it is a really fun mobile suit, but expect to die a lot. Since you are not hit and you have a hard time trying to, you know, take take players by surprise. But it is a solid mobile suit, especially when you get into the needy greedy where just a whole group of enemies or a whole group of allies when they're all distracted you can come in with your melee priority and you know you can do some nice nice damage you can mad surprise attack players and right here you know i was kind of like a, a broken goddamn oyster so i had to like you know repair my goddamn nuts and that's the thing now i was trying to get away from this act guy because the act guy was right there and I believe one of my team members you know friendly fired me at that specific moment the act guy is a really really good mobile suit really difficult to uh, approach and defeat it because it has a lot of HP and ever since the Zagok got a buff in HP and its uh, ability to shoot its beam when you're underwater is a really nice addition you can literally you know boost and shoot your beam which is really awesome I was able to get that dude underwater and I'm going after this at guy because it was a perfect perfect moment and I was able to keep in track with the whole the whole squad right here and you know I was realizing the the GOG had low HP I'm not sure if the GOG went to repair but I believe he just got knocked out the GOG is really devastating in this map really devastating underwater but you're just a very big target <laughs> I've been able to see players get first place and I think that's probably the only time I ever see players get first place is because the GOG is really goggly in the water 
<laughs> and it's really fun. Um, I straight out used the GOG when it basically came out. I have like the 300 and the 350, so it's an amazing. It's it's a fun, you know, it's a fun mobile suit. It's not competitive or whatnot, but it just sticks around. And I was trying to aim my my weapons after the GOG because. Yeah, I just didn't want to get, you know, attacked by the goddamn claws of that thing. And the thing about those gogs, you just gotta, you gotta boost away from those. You you gotta boost away, and when you boost away from the gogs, you have a higher chance of survival. Right there, um, again with the goddamn game problems, he was supposed to hit me with his, uh, his heat rod first and that was not fair for for him to get knocked knocked first now I wanted to go after this gog I could not see nothing because of the smoke and right here you know we were just we're all over this dude And I would have been able to knock that act guy right there. I literally saw like the act guy right there. So I was hoping to knock him down, but you know, time limit. I didn't even know the game was over. And I was able to get a really, really good, really good score. But there was like uh not like with a bunch of high tier players. It was basically like a a normal match. Now, um this is where the high high gog the z gog is going to be this is this is the ultimate of how good you can actually be with this mobile suit so i was able to do some really really nice plays this whole match i was really focused very very focused so i saw this dude right behind our group i wanted to focus on this man because he was basically solo. Right here, my melee did not even touch the high gog. They need to fix the melee in this game. And, you know, it really pisses me off. Right there, that man was able to get me because, you know, it was a, a really nice hit right there. Now I wanted to go after the support really dangerous look at that three melee right there you can literally do a solid bunch right there right here I was actually surprised that I did not knock down my 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 goddamn player like it doesn't even make any sense the melee in this game doesn't make any sense but sometimes it does when you're literally focused it works right there I was able to angle my melee towards the beam because I did not want to hit my damn player right here we just both literally knocked out with our melee right there which is good um, the gog was able to get a nice finisher off of him now when I saw this <laughs> flight type I know he was out of boost now I wanted to go after this man and get him but I wasn't able to get him now that high gog um, they have really, really nice, crazy range. Amazing. I wasn't able to use the the high gog in this match, but you know, this Molsu is a combo master. You can literally go in for combos and combos and combos. And I literally looked at the high gog with the nuke. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, those nukes really really crazy blast radius amazing amazing mobile suit um if i had to rate the zagok i'd give it a 9 out of 10 uh the reason why i give it a 9 out of 10 is because you know it it's really good it's got all the necessities the maneuver armor is sweet it's really sweet i'm kind of glad it has maneuver armor if this had like a uh, a way to make yourself really invisible, it would have been really good. Also, if it had a dodge roll, I would have gave this like a 10 out of 10 because you know you would have been able to get out of specific 
dangerous situations and I prefer mole suits with dodge rolls more than maneuver armor because I feel like dodge rolls kick some ass now this act guy right here he was doing some nice moves he was doing some work right there look at that he was able to handle me and number three and he was able to handle number one now I want to come over here and finish him because he was able to do some nice techniques right there that you know that whole confrontation was really nice and there were though a lot of moments when you know I'm really messing up on my melee where I keep on you know going for the vice vice attack the main heavy one <laughs> I always feel like the the vice I'm just getting myself confused with a lot of mobile suits so you know I'm not like perfectly you know good at it but this is a really really amazing match where you're supposed to put it to its fullest maximum um, when you're using this thing I am being very reckless I am you have to be reckless with this mobile suit if you don't be reckless if you're literally staying on the sidelines only doing one melee or you know um, just literally doing a you know sniping sniping only from far range uh, you won't be able to do some really good stuff with this now I had one match where I literally sniped with the the beam gun the beam claw just non-stop the whole match but I still wasn't able to get you know the results I expected right there I was get I was able to get real close to the the support and I went after this this Agu guy with his melee and I was able to catch him. Now that this Agu guy is really good. He pretended like he pretended to literally drift to to an angle and he was able to slap me with his tentacles. <laughs> Which is really good. Really good act guy. And he's uh a really good beginner player and you can learn a lot you know he literally uh, faked dash and pretended which is really good tactic now to show you how good the act guy is um, I was basically you know focused on one and three I wanted to help one and three and I was going over here and I spotted him on the map and he took me by surprise he literally took me by surprise at a really good specific angle. I did not see him coming at all. And um, yeah, he was doing a really good job. At this point, you know, I wanted to get onto the, the high ground and throw in some nice rounds in here. I'm actually surprised none of those connected underwater. I'm not sure where the range is at. But I kind of had a really good estimate. Now there is this, uh. I'm not sure what that mobile suit is called. I keep on forgetting what it's called. And this is like kind of like a blind shot. And I was able to just blindly hit the, the mobile suit underwater. And, you know, I was using uh, the 300, the 350 high gong and they are pretty damn solid mobile suits uh, you can use like other higher tiers but if you're using high tiers you're gonna really struggle with this thing um, I recommend you try and using low tier mobile suits like around the 300 to the three, 350 range and you, you're gonna see the magic um, yeah it works it works like a charm I don't have a, a hard time using this it's pretty damn fun Now we had a really really good lead right here and I died at a specific bad time and I was like oh crap you know and out of all the people I run to I had to run into this guy <laughs> it's just like no one wants to fight these guys <laughs> now um yeah it was a really good match it's pretty damn interesting and you can usually do this to its fullest maximum potential and you know melee it's a melee bot 
So see you all later and take care.